Lou Wersham won a U.S. Open, outplayed Sam Snead, went 2-0 and in the Ryder Cup, ushered golf into the TV age, mentored over 100 club professionals, and grew tomatoes. This was Lou Wersham, consummate golf professional we welcome into the PGA Hall of Fame. Lou Worsham's career can be pretty well summed up in three questions. The first question stems from the 1947 U.S. Open at St. Louis Country Club when Lou, with just one tour win to his name, beat the great Sam Snead on the last hole of their 18-hole playoff. Both faced 30-inch par putts. But Lou abruptly called for a measurement just as Snead was preparing to putt. Okay. Sneed was fractionally away, but now fuming. He missed the putt. Said Sneed, I was so mad I couldn't see straight. Lou commented, I didn't have any trouble making mine. So the question remains, did Lou Warsham game Sam Sneed? The second question is a request for Lou to tell the story again, just one more time, of how he holed out from 104 yards for a stunning eagle at the final hole to win the World Championship of Golf in 1953 over Chandler Harper. It was the last of Lou's six tour wins, and it made history as well. This was the first tournament to be televised nationally. Golf had finally entered the TV age. And as Lou said, television was good to me. The third question could come from any Oakmont Country Club member standing near the dog leg of the par four 17th. How are your tomatoes doing, Lou? The world famous golf professional at the renowned club loved fussing over a garden and even doing a bit of carpentry around his home. Lou Worsham now joins the PGA Hall of Fame and it couldn't come soon enough for Bob Ford who was himself inducted in 2005 and who nominated Lou. Ford remembers him as his benefactor, his mentor, boss, compass, and most of all, his friend. Ford was an aspiring collegiate golfer at the University of Tampa when he sought out the great Lou Worsham for advice. Lou hired him as an assistant professional at Oakmont Ford carried on the traditions that Worsham established as Oakmont's PGA head professional from 1947 through 1979, a legacy that still exists at the hallowed club. And Bob Ford is just one of the more than 100 club professionals that Lou mentored and guided to successful PGA careers. To the people he was close to, Ford says, Lou was warm and fuzzy, and he liked to party and hunt and fish. People like Jock Hutchison, Tony Penna, Jimmy Demerit, they all loved Lou. Rick Warsham, Lou's youngest son, and himself a PGA Life member, remembers his dad as a warm and generous man. And Rick even recalls friends dropping in at their family's house near Oakmont's 18th Green just to chat with dad. And these friends he would later put names to, like Mickey Mantle, Whitey Ford, Arnold Palmer, among others. So that one question remains. Did Lou game Sam Snead at the 1947 U.S. Open? Lou's answer was, I have many fond memories of St. Louis in 1947. And the game of golf has many fond memories of Lou Worsham as he enters the PGA Hall of Fame.